It's Atlanta's number one hip hop station. Hot 1079 at home for the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Of course, you know it's your fault. Be high. Radio shout is stepping in the building. I got my A Town partner in this thing. Young LA. What's good with it, my dog? Hey, you got to know. Be high with good, man. I mean, feeling good, feeling great in here, man. Yeah, right, I mean, too. let's get straight to it, though. Expensive language, too. Ooh. Talk to me about that thing, man. man. Situation, situation, man. Number yeah. going up. Shout out to everybody who's been supportive of the situation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, two is live on all all mixtape sites. I mean, wherever you want to go get it, spin rella, my mixtape, live mixtape is out. Yes, Shout out to that boy, uh, Tank Hood Rich, yeah. for being a part Damn. of the movement, the family. You already know what's going on. Shout out to Plug. Yeah. Shout out to DJ P Exclusive. It's a, it. Hey, if you ain't got it, you got to join away. Yeah, too, out right now. I mean, singles like when, man. <laughs> I mean, tell me about that thing. I mean, what was it like putting this project together to begin with, too, man? Man, I just feel like I had to push the project out. Um, It was very personal to me, you know what I'm saying? We put a lot of work in it. Shout out to the boy, Super. Yeah. Shout out to my homeboy, Swift, who actually produced the single, lead single win. Uh-huh. Um, Like I said, we put a lot of hard work in it, you know? We took our time with it, and... I, you know, I just felt like we had to give it to the fan base. You know what I'm saying? The first expensive language was a classic. That's right. And there was a demand for part two, so we had to feed the streets. You already know. I mean, you, you definitely know, coming huh? with that sauce, man. And, I mean, when we speak of the sauce, you and Jay Money, y'all kind of invented that thing, man. I mean, talk to me about y'all impact on, on the game and just bringing a different lingo in the language, man. You know, I felt like for real, for real, you know, I feel like we hate, I feel like we helped just shape the culture of, you know what I'm saying, this new sound in a new wave, you know, flave heavy, man, swave heavy. Yeah. You know, yeah. the swave, that's the sway mixed with the flave, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's swave up. heavy, but um, I feel like we did definitely set a lot of trends, you know what I'm saying? And not just on the sound of the music, but the style from the fashion to, you know what I'm saying, a lot of things we did as far as crossing ourselves over, you know what I'm saying? So shouts out to everybody who just keeping the movement going in the city. All my artists who out, um, upcoming artists, independent artists, you know, I encourage y'all to keep grinding. Just being unique and being creative, you know what I'm saying? That's what we stand for, being outside the box. Trendsetter Leland, futuristic Leland in the building. Now, what was it that made you go ahead and be futuristic with everything, though? Because, I mean, when y'all came with it, y'all was saying it. But, I mean, here now it, you it see is it. a few, exactly, <laughs> it see is a few le- years later yeah, and it got real, it. man. So, I mean, tell me, what was your mindset? When y'all were like, you know what, we got to come with this different flavor. Because I felt like everything I was doing, like no one was doing, I felt like I was ahead of, the, ahead of the game as far as fashion and everything. Like, you know, the way we were dressing from the mohawks to the yeah. to the haircuts to the dress code to, you know what I'm saying, standing for this black boy, white boy move. It's, I, I feel like we set the trend. And when I came in doing it, it wasn't cool. It wasn't a thing to do. We had to break the barriers, you know what I'm saying, with the image and the way we was pushing our line. You know, so now I feel like everybody has caught up to it. It's crazy you say that. Like, we yeah. eight years later now, and everybody now just on the wave, you know what I'm saying? So crazy. when I say futuristic Leland, I really meant that, you know what I'm saying? Ten steps ahead of these people. You know what's going on. I mean, but another movement, man, that black boy, white boy movement, man. Ooh, I mean, talk to move. me about that. You and that boy drove, man. I mean, y'all were raising a lot of hell with that, too. Oh, man, like... It just, it was something I said at a video shoot, you know, I was rocking the tight, the, the tight skinnies and, you know what I'm saying, just all the way rock, just rocked out and I, I just went with the Black Boy movement, you know, you seen the Ain't I video, like the first visual yeah. when coming out the gates, I had the BMX bikes in there, I had the skateboarders in there, you know what I'm saying, way before all this was yeah. the trend, you know, so I felt like I did break barriers, you know what I'm saying. So just shout out to Dewan and when me and him got together and put together Black Boy Well Two, it went crazy. You know the you know the, the like the response from the fans was just like whoa, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. So shout out to Dewan. Actually, right now, you know what I'm saying we we've been discussing working on this Black Boy White Boy Two. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? And I I I think you know we can execute that. It's gonna be definitely definitely major for the city. You know, right? That's right. Um, probably one of my biggest mixtapes. You know what I'm saying? Of my short career. You know what I'm saying? So. Um, shout out to D Row, man. Shout out to my boy. Shout out to the one. Black boy, white boy, you already know. Gnarly. Now, speaking of that, ain't I, man? I mean, when that thing hit the charts, man, what was going through your young mind when you looked up and realized that you had one? It was just, it was all overwhelming, just taking yeah. it in. You know, you had to take it in, but um, I was ready for it. You know, I, you know, you know, like you, you take off, you got to grab the wheel. It's, t- it's time to ride. You know what I'm saying? The gas going, you know, and once they put the gas on, it was just like, it's time to ride out, you know what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. it was one of those records, like, for me, I was still making that transition from, you know what I'm saying, being an independent artist on the grind, open mics, and, yeah. 
you know, putting that real leg work in that you put in before the fame and before any of the, the recognition and all that, you know. So once it hit, you know, it was like I felt like my work had been paying off because this was a grind I had been on, you know, right. way before Ain't I, you know, since the Zaytoven days. First mixtape, crushed the block since Tomaville days, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, the trenches, you know what I mean? <laughs> now, I mean, linking back up with that boy Zay, man, I mean, talk to me about that. He always been around, you know what I'm yeah. saying? He always been in my corner. Like, he ushered me into this music, you know yeah. what I'm saying, for real, for real. He was one of the, the first big producers and major producers that I worked with. You know, yeah. my first mixtape was number Zaytoven beats, and I feel like that wave was so crazy. That's the wave that got me, you know what I'm saying, started in the city. That's the wave that got everybody in the trenches on Young LA, you know what I'm saying? That production plus the swag I was kicking, the sh you know, the flavor I was I was kicking, it was like, it was a, it was a, it was an automatic, you know what I'm saying? It was a go, you know. So now working with Zay is just like we getting better and better at what we do, you know what I'm saying? He's he's always been my family. He's always been supportive of everything I had going on, and just shout out to him and all his success and all his endeavors that he's having right now. But um, currently we still working, you know. We still got more heat to come. Foreign Water Two on the way. Um, you know, Zay told him to be all over that. So shout out to my man, Drip Gang, Drip Set. We in the building, Zay Time USA. I see you. Now, another one of my favorites, though, man, Lay, I got to ask you about, man. That what 36 do? O's, man. Classic. That was one of my junks right there, classic. man. I mean, talk to me about you and Boosie getting together on that banger right there. Man, shout out to Boosie. Um, that was one of my biggest records for me. I feel like it was just a street classic. Like, the feel on that record when it came on, like, I don't care where you was, like, <laughs> automatically, like, extra piped up out the real, you know what I'm saying? And, um... Shout out to Boozy, because like I say, he came and actually physically did the record. You know, most people do yeah. features. They send it through Pro Tools, and yeah. you record it where you at. And, you know, I record my verse here, but he actually came to the city, came to the studio. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We had a chance to interact and just really vibe, you know what I'm saying, as people. You know what I'm saying? And so I respected that about him, you know what I'm saying, from where he was in his career at that time to actually take the time and come push up, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it was a mutual thing, so yeah. it was crazy. It was I crazy. Mean, speaking of that in studio vibe, man, I saw on YouTube where you and that boy drawing that damn I look good, man. That's another one of them ones. That's another right one of them ones. I mean, yeah. that was crazy. That's another one of them ones. Talk to me about just the chemistry and just your uh, studio process, you know, creative process behind the music. I just got to feel it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't like to waste no time getting to it. Like, I just got to feel it. Everything is out for feeling with me. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing, it's nothing premeditated. It's nothing written. It's just feeling the beat and going in right there, you know what I'm saying? So the beat got to make me want to rap, you know what I'm saying? It got to make me want to, if it don't make, if it don't move me, then I don't really want to, you know what I'm saying, record on the beat, you know what I'm saying? And that's my process, you know? So I think um, when you in there with great producers and great artists, it, it you know, it helps the chemistry, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, it helped the vibe. And um, like I say, I just... I go off emotions and go off feeling, you know what I'm saying? Whatever the beat talk to me, you know what I'm saying? And tell me which way to go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so it's a natural process. It's all organic, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing duplicated. There's nothing imitated. It's all organic. It's all natural. Now, looking at the game right now, man, I mean, how do you feel like it's changed over the years from the time where you jumped out there raising hell to right now? I mean, I feel like right now it's a, uh, I feel like it's a single game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you got to just keep singles. You know what I'm saying? Right now you got to keep singles. I feel like um, whatever's hot in the club is really the hottest record everywhere. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Um, So I think that you got to just really stay grinding in the street and just, I, I, I feel like right now with the creativity, I feel like it's at an all-time high mm -hmm. because I see a lot of cats coming out who comfortable in their skin and being they self, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Being unique and being creative, you know what I'm saying? No matter what, no one got to say. And I think that's what it's all about, just being yourself, you know, being unique, being creative. And um, that's what these guys doing who coming out, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of new artists coming out, they really in their own skin. They have their own, you know what I'm saying, lanes, you know, from fashion to the way they style to the way, you know what I'm saying, the, you know, the deliverance, the, 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 the choice of beats, you know what I'm saying, all that plays a um, part, so... I think, man, we at an all-time high just with creativeness right now. Yes, sir. Now, I mean, when you think about the game, I mean, what are some of the nuggets and jewels that you picked up along the way that you care to share with other folks that's watching this that want to see how they can do what you done did? I think uh, first thing is just about building them relationships, you know what I'm saying, and keeping them relationships. Um, relationships take you a long way. That's I just feel like that, you know what I'm saying, keeping strong relationships. Um, and just, you know what I'm saying, being humble, taking everything again, you know what I'm saying, 
uh, taking everything one step at a time. You know what I'm saying? And um, like I say, being humble for real. And I just think relationships, I got to go back to that because as you grow and as you build, the game fluctuates. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have you gonna have your up times. You're going to have your mids. You're going to have times where you coasting. You're going to have times where you at a, you know, at a peak. And um, no matter where you at, in this industry, if you got good relationships, everybody will always be supportive of you in yeah. your movements and everything that you got going on, all your endeavors. So I feel like relationships is important from the DJs to promoters to, you know what I'm saying, just having a good report card. You know what I'm saying? Right. right. Now, I mean, right now with the music being that it is, how do you feel with you coming back in here raising cane? And during the time that you took a slick break, I mean, what was you doing for? Was you just like, you know, I'm about to cool out and, you know, back up off this industry for a slick second or what? At the same time, I think really I never stopped working. I always was feeding my fan base. I think yeah. on the mainstream level, you probably didn't see me, you know, more because without the deals and the machines behind me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Having Interscope, having that machine behind me, you know what I'm saying? You will see, you know, when you have a major machine, you're going to see, you're going to be in more places and you're going to be able to produce at a higher, you know what I'm saying, level with that machine. So on this independent grind, I just been touching independent artists. I've been taking the same formula that got me here, you know what I'm saying? Open mic, back in the streets, um, studio, just a lab rat, you know what I'm saying? Still putting out projects, still putting out tapes. Like I got probably like in the last, this year and last year, I probably got five new mix tapes out, you know what I'm saying? So Never stopping working, you know what I'm saying? Cause this is my passion, you know. So I always feeding my fan base, you know. So it may what you know, whether it get magnified or not, or it might get overlooked or not, you know what I'm saying? That's not that's not a big issue with me. The issue with me is this what I love to do and some I'm doing this for my fans and the real young LA fans. So some people gonna see it, some people gonna miss it. But you know, this it's what I've been doing, you know what I'm saying? Just working, still working on my craft, getting better and better, perfecting myself, you know what I'm saying? How is it not being independent in this digital world, though? Because see, cause see, now we can see you even now independent. So what right, you're doing, what right. you're doing, we can still feel it right. just because of the digital space. Right, right. How do you feel being able to reach your fans using these social medias and stuff like that now? I think it's dope because, I mean, you control your own destiny. You know what I'm saying? It makes the independent grind a little easier. I mean, you, uh, definitely you got to put in more leg work. You know, the leg work you got to be willing to put in. I say 10 times more lead work than an artist with a major deal because you don't have that major machine on you, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that's working. When you sleep, that major machine still working. So you got to turn up the grind. And I feel like that's what I feel like now with the digital and um, all these social media outlets, it's easier to touch your fans and your fan base. So I feel like if you brand yourself, brand your name, um, Major deals is cool, but I think the independent level is where it's at, you know what I'm saying? Just knowing the game and knowing how to push your music out, knowing how to get paid through sound exchange, through your digital distribution, you know what I'm saying? To get paid off your hits from YouTube, your views, and having all your business set up. And I think you can build your own brand and empire that way. So I think that's the dopest way to go, you know? And then when the major see what you're doing, if, you know what I'm saying, it's the right situation for you, then, you know, it's always a plus, but... Independent right now, you got all the outlets that, you know what I'm saying, the majors have too at your fingertips. So you just have to utilize your resources. That's right. Now, lastly, I mean, what's next for you, Lay? And anything else you want to get off your chair? Uh, for me, man, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm here, man. I'm happy to be here, you know what I'm saying? Still, hey, man, still producing at a high level, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm making some of the best music right now that I made, you know what I mean? At the year two, I'm coming back with trying to tell you, um, which is gonna be a big project for me. I'm currently working with Nard and B. Y'all know they had my second. Fam. Yeah, yeah, the fam. You know what I'm saying? They had the damn. I look good with yeah. Young Dro. They had on um, my second single, Futuristic Love. So it's crazy to be back just in and tune with them. That Futuristic Love. I mean, talk to me about that banger right there, cause that was another one of them joints too, like. Man, that record just was crazy. Shout out to Rico Barino because yeah, he that's actually the boy. He was just here the other <laughs> yeah, day. That's you know that's home team, that's family. Yeah. Cause he actually cooked the hook up. You know what I'm saying? He was like, "Lay, I got something crazy for you. I got something crazy for you." You know, and it was like, um, when I heard the hook, it was a no brainer that it was a go. You know what exactly. I'm saying? And I feel like that's one of the biggest records, radio wise. You know what I'm saying? Mainstream level wise of my career. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was catered to the latest, and you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know. Once the women gravitate to a record, they really make the record big, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, shout out to Rico Barino. But we also been in back in the studio doing some work. So, so that's cold now. Yeah, we got some we got some up our sleeve, you know, we up the song. <laughs> shout out Shout out to Rico Barino. Nah, that's my home team, that's my family. So um be on the lookout for some soon from me and Rico. And shout out to Nard and B too. Bet it up. 
I know I had cut you off though, but anything else you wanted to say? Hey, we in here, we working, man. Yeah. Catch me in the hood, and then you on um, currently on this trench tour. You know what I'm saying? Where we just pulling up in what well, zone one through zone six. We pulling up in every hood, yeah. and we just we signing CDs. We putting our CDs out. We really just touching the people. You know what I'm saying? You know, lead work, like I say, lead work is turned up. So if you see us in the hood near you, you already know, push up on us. You know what's going on. Yeah, two is out, like we said. Uh, make sure y'all go download it. Make sure y'all go check it out. The new single, Win. The visual is out, you know, via World Star. Y'all can go check it out on my website, younglalive. That's the website video up there. All my recent projects, all my recent mixtapes. Younglalive, if y'all want to log in, go log in, get caught up on something that y'all probably ain't caught up on. You already know we working, so that's the movement for me. Just be on the lookout for a lot more, you know what I mean? I can definitely dig it Consistency. Hey, you already know. Appreciate you are. Hey, I appreciate dog. you, bro. You already know. I appreciate you for having me. You know, y'all been supporting my move 1079 like since day one, you know? Right. So it's our number, love. You hear me? 1000, man. Beehive Radio, shout it. Young LA, it's out 1079, man. Let go.